this picture you can see various organism like uh, this animal birds in the air some fish and other organism inside the water and some microorganism inside the soil some dead organic uh, matter of plants and animals and some plants in this picture so the part of the earth where living organism exist for example this animal on the land this plant on the land these microorganisms inside land and these fish inside the water and birds in the air they form biosphere so the biosphere is made up of the parts of earth where life exists the biosphere extends from the deepest root systems of trees to the dark environment of ocean trenches to lush rain forest and high mountain tops the term biosphere was first used by edward swiss in 1875 in this picture you can see various part of the biosphere for example this uh, sky blue color it is represented by atmosphere the uh, wa the water color that is the navy blue color you can see it is the ocean and the lithosphere it is represented by this so the part of this planet earth where life can exist that is in the atmosphere the birds they are flying on the mountain tops some plants inside the ocean some uh, marine life and inside the soil the uh, microorganisms and the plant roots so this part of the planet earth where life exists constitute the biosphere so this part the dotted blue line this represents the biosphere where life can exist biosphere a relatively thin life supporting layer of earth surface extending from a few kilometers into the atmosphere to the deep sea vents of the ocean the biosphere is a global ecosystem composed of living organisms that is biota and the abiotic that is non living factors from which they derive energy and nutrients so biosphere is a combination of biotic and abiotic components of the ecosystem in which to carry out and continue the life they get support from the abiotic environment structure and composition of biosphere so the structure of biosphere consists of three components that is abiotic biotic energy components abiotic abiotic components of biosphere it consists of all non living elements which are essential for the survival of all living organisms that is it has lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere mineral nutrients gases and water are three basic requirements of organic life in this picture we can see the abiotic factors these are the non living components of the ecosystem which affect the abiotic factors for example wind it can influence the rate of transpiration and the absorption of water from the soil by plants similarly sunlight it can drive the photosynthesis soil it can provide shelter and support to the plants and its structure has the potential for water retention temperature it also affects the various activities of the living organisms for example in plants it can affect the rate of transpiration and photosynthesis similarly atmosphere 
it is it has various gases for example carbon dioxide if its level is more so the plant can easily absorb carbon dioxide and can carry photosynthesis water the most important one it is the basic and initial uh, requirement of living organism enough water enough life so when there is life when there is water there is life so water supports the basic needs of life biotic components of biosphere it includes plants animals and human beings to make biotic components of environment there are three subsystem of the biotic components of biosphere that is plants animals and microorganism so the whole biosphere consists of three type of organisms that is plants animals and microorganisms plants they are very important part of biotic components they are primary producers of food through process of photosynthesis that is why they are called as autotrophs you can see in these images a plant in the left bottom corner of the picture image of the slide which captures solar energy and then in the mid picture you can see it captures the sun energy inside the chloroplast where water is photolyzed oxygen is evolved to the atmosphere and this energy is circulated inside the plant body and in kelvin cycle carbon dioxide is fixed and carbohydrates that is sugar is synthesized in the uh, right bottom picture you can see the plants they synthesize various organic compounds and oxygen they are utilized by humans and other organisms so the plants at the same time they may during the night they can uh, during respiration they give back to the atmosphere the carbon dioxide and water animals they are main consumer of plants they are they are the producer hence known as heterotroph so animals they are unable to prepare their own food so for their food they eat the producers that are plants this is the reason they are called as heterotrophs they use organic matter produced by plants and transform the food energy and use in growth and development since animals cannot synthesize their own food so to get energy they prey or graze on the organic matter that is plants and then convert it into energy for their growth and development purposes in this pictures you can see some antel pods they are grazing on plants getting energy to grow and reproduce similarly a rabbit you can see it grazes on the grass so to get energy cows they are grazing in some grasslands so they are getting energy they grow and produce milk that is energy for other organisms microorganism they act as a decomposer of dead plants and animals so microorganism they are also known as scavengers of the planet earth so once other organism like plants and animals when they die their bodies will be this decompose decompose by these microorganism and the nutrients which they take from the environment are pay back or return to the environment so in the images you can see the various dead organisms that is plants and animals decomposed by various microorganisms and the nutrients are recycled to the environment energy it is vital component of biosphere which is essential for reproduction and generation of all biological life on earth you can see the picture in the picture at the bottom the plants they are producing more energy the second in the pyramid the herbivores that is primary consumer 
they produce less energy the carnivore the the second secondary consumer they produce far less energy and the carnivore comes at the top so they produce less energy again you can see the energy production level in this picture the plants they produce more energy at the second you can see the primary consumer secondary consumer and the tertiary consumer so they produce much less energy this picture shows the other realities that is the producers they produce more energy that is 10 10000 kilocalories some is lost in the form of heat during the metabolism and only 1000 kilocalory is passed to the primary consumers again the primary consumer during their metabolism heat is lost so 10 kilocalory is passed to the secondary consumer secondary consumer during metabolism they also uh, heat loss there occur some heat loss so 10 kilocalory energy is transfer to the tertiary consumer so this is the energy flow chart how energy transfer from one trophic level to another in this biosphere composition of biosphere ecological system it consists of two parts that is flow of energy in the ecosystem and the food chain system of biotic and abiotic components interrelated and interact with each other therefore an ecosystem involves interactions among different components and flow of energy among these components so in this ecological system the energy flow from one trophic level to another through food chain in food chain one organism is eaten by another in another by the other one so in this way the energy is transferred from one trophic level to another in the ecological system of the biosphere these pictures show you the same trend you can see sunlight is captured by plants plants are eaten by herbivores and so on so in this way the energy is cycle among the ecosystem in the form of food chain flow of energy in the ecosystem it involves transfer of energy from one trophic level to another it is trophic level trophic level is the stage at which food energy passes from one group to another it occurs through the food chain so in the ecosystem the energy flow occurs in the form of food chain in the food chain one organism is eaten by another one for example you can see in the pyramid the Uh, green plants they capture sun energy and produce more energy so these green plants are eaten by the rabbits that is primary consumer so energy is transferred from producer to primary consumers and these primary consumers they are again eaten by secondary consumer so energy is transferred from primary consumers to secondary consumers similarly these secondary consumers are eaten by tertiary consumers so energy is passed from secondary consumers to tertiary consumers during this pyramid at each level some energy is lost so this is the food chain or food pyramid where energy is transferred from one trophic level to another in the food chain you can see the green plants they capture sun energy they do respiration growth so apart from this they transfer 10% of energy to the another organism that is rabbit so rabbit do some excretion respiration growth movement warm so they use energy so what is left is 10% is again transferred to another so this is another organism and they do the same metabolism so in this way the energy flow in the ecosystem in the form of food chain from one organism to another food chain it is basically the sequence of transfer of energy from the organism in one trophic level to another trophic level types of organisms in food chains autotrophs these plants they use sun energy 
and fix carbon dioxide from atmosphere and water from the soil and synthesize sugar and oxygen is returned or exchanged to the atmosphere. Heterotrophs, these are the organisms which cannot synthesize their own food, so they graze on plants and in this way one organism eat plants and it is being eaten by another organism. So this is the food chain and how the flow of energy occur through food chain. Type of food chains Grazing food chain It has plants at the first level and last level is occupied by carnivores. Here loss of energy at each level occurs through respiration, excretion or decomposition. So the picture shows the same trend. The producers, they do photosynthesis and they transfer 10% energy to the caterpillar that is herbivore and primary consumer and it transfer again 10% of energy to the sparrow that is the second consumer. When the sparrow is eaten by the hawk, it gets 10% of energy. So in this food chain, that is the grazing food chain, the plants are being grazed by the caterpillars or some other organisms and they are being eaten. So in this process, energy is transferred. Detritus food chain, it is based on autotrophs energy capture initiated by grazing animals, decomposition of organic waste that is derived from grazing food chain. The picture shows the dead leaves of plant are being eaten by wood louse and it is being eaten by the black bar. So in this way from the dead organic matter of plants other organism get food chain. Biogeochemical cycle The cyclic movement of chemical elements of biosphere between organisms and the environment. It involves movement and circulation of soluble inorganic substances known as nutrients derived from soil and atmospheric forms of inorganic substances through organic form of various biotic components. This picture show the biogeochemical cycle of carbon dioxide. Plants in the presence of sunlight, they fix carbon dioxide and produce organic food or organic carbon. So the plants are being eaten by animals or they may decay. So the animals during respiration, they exchange or return the carbon dioxide again to the atmosphere. And plants after being decaying, their remainings become fossil or fossil fuels. So these fossil fuels either or this dead organic matter is get back or absorbed by plants, they do respiration and if they are used by the automobiles or factory, so they use and again the carbon dioxide is added to the uh, or carbons are added to the cycle. So in this way the nutrients they cycle in the uh, biosphere. This is another picture. It shows various biogeochemical cycle that is water, nutrient and so many. I hope you like uh, the video. So please click on the like button, subscribe the channel and share with your friends. Wish you all the best, stay blessed and have a nice time.